So I wrote Wave Walker to tell the story about how I grew up on a boat for a decade and how I escaped from the boat in the end through education. So we set sail. We set sail on our boat Wave Walker when I was seven years old and I ended up not coming back to the UK until I was 17. And in that time I had very limited chance to have a normal education. Uh, I briefly went to school uh, in Australia, but most of the time I wasn't really being educated. And eventually I finished my education teaching myself by correspondence uh, to do my, my kind of senior schooling. I think my parents put a low level of emphasis on me getting an education because they were just focused on sailing. They loved sailing. They wanted to spend their time on the boat, exploring new parts of the world. Uh, we were very short of money, so they were also spending a lot of time trying to earn money and wanted me to work and, and help them to earn money. And for them, getting an education was a, was a secondary concern. So eventually, amazingly, I got myself back to England and I got into university and did a degree. And then I went on after that to work in the civil service where I was lucky enough to meet my husband, Jeremy Haywood. Uh, and I was very, very happily married with Jeremy for 20 years and we have three wonderful children. But sadly, four years ago, I lost Jeremy who had lung cancer uh, and he died. So after Jeremy passed away, a number of my friends said to me that I should get some therapy to talk through, particularly his loss. It's such a big loss in anyone's life to lose your, lose your partner. And Jeremy and I had been very, very close. And also after having such a, uh, a difficult childhood uh, with very little security and very little stability, I'd found somebody in my life for 20 years who had been hugely supportive and suddenly I'd lost that again. So about a year after Jeremy died, I, I found a therapist um, and I you know, wanted to use that as an opportunity to talk about the loss. But actually what I found when I started talking to them and they were immensely helpful, uh, a really, really, really good therapist, I found there wasn't very much to talk about in relation to Jeremy because it was a huge loss, but it wasn't emotionally complicated. It was just incredibly sad. And what I really needed to talk about was to talk about my childhood. You know, why had I ended up on a boat for 10 years? Why had my parents not cared about me getting an education? You know, feeling trapped on the boat, uh, the way in which my mother had behaved to me, particularly when I became a kind of teenager, which made a, a very difficult situation even worse. And so I spent most of the time that I had with the therapist, I had 10 sessions in total, talking through that. And it was incredibly helpful. So the therapist told me two things which were incredibly helpful for me in trying to understand my childhood. One is she explained that my mother was probably uh, narcissistic. And this is something that I, I now understand. And for me, it, it's helped me make sense of a lot of the things that happened in my childhood. And the second thing is she explained why it had been so difficult for me to understand that as a child. As a child, it's very difficult for you to uh, think uh, negative things about your parents, to criticize your parents, because you're so dependent on your parents that if you criticize your parents and you feel that your parents are not being good to you, you're effectively uh, challenging the whole basis of the world in which you live because your parents are your entire life. And so it actually takes the maturity of uh, being an adult with all of the support networks that we can create as an adult to then go back and look at your childhood from that point of security and understand some of the behaviors that happened. But I found it incredibly useful to unpack all that and I feel now much more at ease with my past and what happened. I'm absolutely thrilled that Wave Walker has been so well received. There's been many, many comments about it online and I know a lot of people are really enjoying reading it and I hope some of the people watching this will read it as well. I also think it's a great opportunity to have this discussion about safeguarding children and have this discussion about what children need when they're a child. You know, all children need ad access to education, all children need the ability to make friends, access to medical care, and I think all of us as parents have an obligation to make sure that our children have that.